right, man, we got some breaking news about Lil Dirk coming in. We found out, you know, not too long ago that Dirk was hospitalized or has been hospitalized for the past week. Now, there are some conflicting reports because the official report that's coming out through, you know, multiple media sources is that he's been in a hospital for the past week with severe hydration, dehydration and exhaustion. Um, only to be released yesterday. It said that he checked into the hospital on July the 6th after falling ill in Ohio. Um, he went to the hospital for safety measures, but the doctors told him when he was there that it was more serious and that his team realized, you know, it and quickly admitted him. Now, here's the thing. The sudden health care scare, you know, pretty much caused Dirk to miss a show in Europe and yesterday's ESPY Awards. And he still hasn't been cleared by physicians to return to work. Now, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. I think it goes a little bit deeper than what people are, was being reported. I mean, you exhausted and dehydration. You give somebody the IV, you stabilize them, you get them out of there. You know, um, and see, remember, this is the entertainment industry. They have different publicists and PR people that are paid handsomely to make sure that your image stays intact. And who knows what it could have been. I'm not going to be here to speculate. I've heard things from different sources, but I'm not going to put it out there because I don't know, you know how true the information is about what really happened you know, to Dirk. So I'll be respect, I respect you know, that aspect of it until more information does come out. But what I will say is that you know, these lifestyles, man, a lot of you really got to be in tip top shape and in optimum health for the lifestyle that these guys try to lead. Right? You can't be drinking every night, drugging every night, smoking every night. I mean, when you're younger, you could do it. Now, he's 30, 31 years old now. When you're in your 20s, your teens, you can get away with that. Once you start getting higher 20s, your 30s, your 40s, these things begin to catch up with you every night, every city. It's a club, it's a show, you know, and then it's this. You got to be putting proper fluids in your body, eating right, and getting your rest at the end of the day, exercising and all that. You can't just be doing shows, sweating, losing all these body fluids, drinking mad liquor, popping, smoking and all that, and then jump up and think everything's going to be cool. Nah, it just ain't going to happen like that, you know, and that's what I'm kind of thinking, you know, more so was the issue. You know, I'm not, you know, slandering his name. This is stuff that he clearly talks about drinking and smoking and, and, and popping. He talks about that, you know. And just because somebody is not obese don't mean that they're healthy. You know, we look at these guys and we say, oh, man, he looks like he's a... Don't let that deceive you. You know, you got to be actively, you know, um, you know, working out, going to the gym, getting your cardio, you know, eating the right foods, going to the doctor, getting checkups, making, that your heart, making sure your heart is good, your blood pressure is good, your cholesterol... It's a whole thing, a maintenance thing here that we all, you know, have to do. And I'm just going to leave it at that. I think that that's, you know, what, what happened here with Dirk. Now, he did tell his fans, even my fans mean everything to me. This is from Dirk. You're the reason why I do this. I was looking forward to touching all of my European fans performing this week and, and, and then attending the ESPYs and more. But after performing and traveling daily, I've become severely dehydrated and advised by my doctors not to travel due to exhaustion. Once I get my full energy back, it's back to business, which I'm looking forward to. And a lot of these guys is traveling nonstop. Like, they got houses they ain't never going in. It's, it's nonstop traveling, nonstop shows. Every night it's a show, three, four hours on the stage. You know, it's the after show. It's, it's a lot. It bec becomes a lot on your body at a point in time. So, you know, good thing he's doing good. He needs to sit to down at home. Get hydrated, eat some fruit, exercise, and get back on the road, man. So that's from Hip Hop News Uncensored. That's my report for the day. I appreciate y'all listening in. This is your brother, Oh God, man. Hey, y'all already know what it is. Hit the like button on the way out. Peace.